She's like, why? Did you get a stiffy from that? <laughs> so this is going to be episode two reaction of Alaya sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. The best episode of this anime so far. By far the best episode. And I'll tell you why it is the best episode. All right, I will break it down to you. So it starts out, no nothing special. He's going to go help out Yuki-chan. They're really chatted up and freaking dancing with each other. Right off the bat, Alaya is not happy about it. <laughs> Alaya is automatically jealous and she's like am I the third wheel here and Yuki's like he's like Yuki set me up Yuki doesn't really care about any relationship with Kazuku or Kuzuku or whatever it's called right she doesn't care she's just playing around and she's like this jerk set me up so I'm like okay that that plays more into the theory right it continues he's helping now in the storage room the entire time she's just freaking mad she's like I'm throwing myself at him and he has no idea little does he know little does she know he has all the idea and she keeps calling after him to come after her and i'm just like this is wild <laughs> she's like i'm open please please throw throw it over here give me some attention all right and then you get this this is like the student council president big buff rick ross type of guy you, and i want to call him rick ross i'm i'm calling him rick ross because his voice is so it's like a ho oh. it, it's like he has literally eating like 10 cheeseburgers and like his his throat can't swap <laughs> yo <laughs> he's unable to handle that amount of trans fats like he, he's just and then he feels indebted for like allowing uh this guy who's not in the student council help them out so much for the storage room so he's taking everyone out for dinner and i'm thinking the entire time like i can't afford to take myself out to f at dinner at a fast food restaurant right now so how are you managing to take out four people right now at fast food it is crazy that's 13 a person bro that's 52 dollars as a high school student he is spending at least that's not even tax she's on a shoe in to get the position of the next president once he leaves as a senior he goes to walk her home and I'm thinking this the entire time I'm thinking, oh, this much episodes going by. It's okay so far. Nothing crazy's happened. But this is when everything in the anime changes and I'm just having to rethink everything. This episode will give you trust issues right away. Because I'm thinking, oh, I know exactly what's going to happen. I know how this is going to play out. And then immediately sent from a loop. And you're thinking, okay, so this is like has to be some type of older some type of sister maybe an aunt she's reading manga casually she's really into this manga about some brother character not realizing something's happening right romantically essentially and then this is when the bomb happens this is when the first bomb drops <laughs> this is pre-atomic bomb right here this is like okay and you're one to talk pretending to be my childhood best friend when really you're my sister and then we're like, it just stops. <laughs> Color changes the black. I hear no more sound because right here in front of me. <laughs> everything I knew about this was a lie. <laughs> and this is what the pointing face is when I realized too, her personality is completely different here. It, it's beyond what you think of the character because at first it's like okay prim proper rich girl if you're the outsider you have no idea about the person then just between kazu and her oh she's a little sadistic playful kind of funny and then here the bomb happens how do i best describe her actual personality Tom right here this is just tomboy it's still a shattering personality change but you realize She's slightly insane and definitely an otaku. Time out. The heroine's big one. <laughs> Classic trope. He's like, you don't understand. He's kissing the heroine. The, the double shock in their face. This was a funny, this scene is funny in itself because it's like, okay, they're realizing the Wincess in this manga, this fictional manga has won. Both of them are shocked about it, but at the same time, I'm thinking the entire time they're also in a in a wis a wincess relationship right now. This is very you know it's like domestic girlfriend. They're they're step siblings, and this this when it hits, 
from this moment on, I'm like, she's insane. She's the most interesting character in this entire anime because she's playing games. She's playing games. And she's actually insane. <laughs> now, this is the scene everyone's talking about if you watch the episode. It's the equivalent of like the drop kick in Data Life, it's, but this time she's actually just riding him. Rejoice. She's like, she's like, rejoice that I'm doing this for you. <laughs> He's calling this domestic violence. This character's insane. Yuki's literally insane. She's my favorite character right now, but she's insane. This right here, I'm just like, what is this line? She'll like, I'll hide under your bed and grab your legs next time. <laughs> Yo. Yo, what is she on right now? You're thinking, okay, this is a joke. It's obviously a joke. But so far with this character and the shattering results that she's not indeed a childhood friend, I think she would actually do this. You know how insane you gotta be to get up earlier than this person, go under their bed, wait for them, just wait, and then grab their legs as they're about to get up to walk you know how much focus you gotta have for that? That's like Navy SEAL level of focus you gotta have for this to do. She's insane. <laughs> how do I describe this character? Because people aren't gonna believe me. So I went here. Juvenile. She's easily excitable and impulsive. These impulses tendencies are near uncontrollable. That I think that's a good way to describe her. She does everything right here on impulse. And he's just like, what are you trying to be in life? <laughs> he's just like, what are you on today? She's like, why? You got a stiffy from that? <laughs> at this point, the episode didn't matter. I was like, yeah, I was like, you got me. The episode doesn't even matter at this point. This is already better than the last episode. And I'm thinking the entire time, I was like, I kind of like their interactions more because I don't know what to expect. With the lie, it's good. It's antagonistic. It's playful. But this is just crazy. It, it just, it's crazy. You don't know what you're getting. You absolutely don't know what you're going to get with this one. Like going out, clothes shopping, she's back in her. You, you'll notice here, he says it too. He says it right here, but this is absolutely correct with the character that we now know her to be. If she's wearing ponytail, she's she's in her tomboy mo mode with no holds bar, right? No, no holding back. And she's dressed like this with the hair. She's going to be in some prim, proper, rich girl mode. So they spot Alaya, who's like watching them, and she's asked to lunch. And then they take her to... She's thinking they're on a date this entire time. The next bomb of the episode drops that I'm dying. I'm dying laughing because only the audience and like uh, Kuzakun and like Yuki know what's going on here. It's like an inside joke that no one else realizes. It's funny. She first points out, oh, you look kind of like a tomboy today. Why you look so boyish? She knows that what she's about to say is going to destroy her. <laughs> this smug look said it all. She's about to drop a bomb. The second bomb. You see, I was in his bed this morning. <laughs> so imagine this, right? Imagine, you know, you're with your boyfriend right here. And you just so happen to catch him with another woman. And you decide, seeing nothing wrong, to go out to have lunch. And then you hear this. Imagine yourself as a bystander, right? Hearing this. That's the chef. That's the person behind him, right right next to him, the closest person next to him. You would expect he would know. And he's just like, what the fuck did I just hear today? Am I hearing a cheating scandal right behind me right now? And then everybody else, this guy just got off of work eating lunch. These two just went out to hang out. And they're like, what did we just hear? And she's like, yeah, I'm going to double down. And I'm wearing his clothes. That's why I look different today. And she's like, in fact... This is his exact same shirt that he let me borrow after I was done. I'm dying. She's like, I want explanations right now. There's nothing he can say. And what he says is just so much funnier too, of course. She just showed up to my place, okay? She just entered my room. She just jumped on top of me on my bed. I don't know what happened. Believe me. I have nothing. It's not my fault. Believe me. <laughs> Yo, this is the worst response you could ever give. It's hilarious. If this was a more dramatic show, I feel like she would have just left. Because this, this wouldn't this be like normal reaction just to leave if you heard this? Alright, and they eat the food. Uh, the entire time when I'm looking at this bubbling hot food straight from hell, 
the entire time I'm thinking is like, Yuki eats this stuff like every day. She only eats f spicy food. Like her stomach has to be churning every day and her butthole must, must be on fire. That's the entire time what I'm thinking. Cause I'm like, we, I already know this is what the character, this is what both of them eat all the time. Oh, this part had me dying too. Cause she is crying in Russian. <laughs> she is crying in Russian trying to eat this. She's a monster. And the reason she's a monster is because she's offering her even more spicy seasoning on top of it, knowing she can't handle it. And you're thinking, oh, Yuki has no idea. She's just trying to, you know, she sees she's enjoying it and said, hey, you, you, would you like to have it more spicier here? Here's some seasoning, you know, like she's not doing that. She's not doing that at all. He, he knows his sister. He, he knows Yuki. She's a, look at this face. She's a menace. Look at this smile. Zoom in on the smile. She's a menace for no reason. She's gangbanging in the suburbs for no reason. She's stealing coins from the freaking fountain for no reason. She has a grudge against Alaya. I don't know why. She just wanted to be a menace. The cries, the rushing cries. Anyways, I'm skipping this part, skipping this part. Okay, so she's like changing. I don't know. Do you see that? They're like clothes shopping. I think this is the funniest part here because as she's changing, he's she's like, he's complimented a girl before. I didn't think he'd be used to that. <laughs> she's getting cold sweats because she's like, Yuki, he's done this before to Yuki. Even in her dream, she's being haunted by the ghost of Yuki. Let me move my camera here. Just look at this demonic face, bro. <laughs> my favorite, another favorite part of this episode. She goes out to change. She's finally gotten all her confidence up. The try look nice. And Yuki's the first one to see her and the comet on it. She's like so daring. What a skank. <laughs> yep. <laughs> She's doing this in broad daylight. <laughs> She's like, I want to die. I want to die. And this is also another funny part because both of them know she's speaking in Russian and they both know that he understands what she's saying in Russian. What'd she say? She says she wants to disappear, apparently. What a big bait. <laughs> and she's enjoying this. <laughs> and they get off together and she just realized that, oh, wait a minute. That was my stop. This is a great episode. It's a recap a little bit, I guess. I didn't give... I don't think I gave too many opinions about it because, like, this... There was so much about this episode I liked that was so funny, if not shocking at the same time because it shattered what I thought I knew about the anime. I kind of doubt episode three is going to be better because I'm like, now, like I said, now I'm thinking that Yuki's probably my favorite character because she's, she's just a crazy one. She's, like, going to keep watching episode three. I don't know if I'll keep making... Or reaction video ish to like all the episodes, but I'll probably go a like a little bit further and watch this anime. But yeah, let me know down below if you like this anime, if you're gonna keep watching this anime, how you feel about it so far. It's now living up to the hype, in my opinion.